Hi, I'm Kara Davis and I'm a house director here in the high school. I attended Langley Christian from kindergarten all the way to grade 12 and loved my experience here. I had tons of great teachers and community that um, encouraged me to take risks and learn things that I was passionate about. And um, I remember in grade 11 in my careers class writing down what career would you never want to be and I wrote a teacher. And funny enough, I also said I would never want to be back at Langley Christian and I think it's interesting to look back at my life and see in the last 15 years all the things that I've done and all the adventures I've been on and places that God's brought me have brought me right back here to Langley Christian, which I think grade 11 me would be laughing. Um, but God has a really funny way of weaving our story in different ways. And after grade 12, I was recruited by a couple schools down in the States and uh, big universities here, but really felt for the first time in my life that God was calling me to stay local, um, invest in my community here. And so I decided to go to Columbia Bible College for a year. And it was there where God really revealed to me um, that my gifts connected with teaching and impacting youth. And so after my year at CBC, I signed with Trinity Western and I also joined on staff at Athletes in Action. I think a lot of the girls and guys that we connected with, we brought on tours, we trained as coaches, are impacting people everywhere. And everything that I got to do with Athletes in Action really connected back to um, my educational roots. So I did study teaching at Trinity, and um, when I was done, I went straight on an internship with Athletes in Action, so I didn't get my chance to dive right back into teaching. But after all those years of beach volleyball, indoor volleyball, coaching, um, and many other things, I really realized that um, teaching was where I was supposed to be and that's really where God was calling me to. So yeah, the house director job is really unique and myself, Mr. Friedson and Mr. Teal are really trying to form this job. When they sent out the job description, it's really interesting. It was just like, do you love everything and everyone and have you had a lot of experience with people? And um, Obviously, I jumped at the experience because I love this school and I love this community and was really excited to form a new job in this community. So we spend a lot of time um, creating community within our students and so spending one-on-one -on -one time getting to know every 130 kids in our house has been a lot of what the last couple months looked like. We, um, we do weekly studies with a couple kids, some Bible studies with some grade 11 students. We are walking through some books on identity and what it looks like to be the hands and feet of Jesus with some grade nine and 10 students. And uh, we go for walks with kids. We spend time praying with them and trying to create a space where they feel comfortable and safe to share things that are going on in their lives. Another reason I love being a house director at Langley Christian is because I have teaching experience and I have taught in a classroom and as a classroom teacher, you have so much impact, but your impact is limited because you see your student, but you're also teaching tons of content and you only see them for a term. And as a house director, I am available for these students all day long, all week long, and for four years straight. I think that's so incredible. There's some girls that I get to connect with in grade nine and I get to walk through their entire high school career with them. And this is everything that I feel God's called me to and gifted me with, that I can walk alongside students and be, yeah, be part of their life. And this again is exactly what God calls us to, and I get to do it at my job, which again is a really cool reason why Langley Christian is, um, been really bold in, in creating this role and, and allowing it to happen and um, giving us total freedom to do what we kind of feel called to do here. And so, yeah, we get to connect with kids on their mental health and their spiritual health and their physical health and their emotional health and intellectual health. And I, I love that we just get to be a sounding board and a person that they can come to and feel safe with. Um, we've had so many cool conversations in here, in this space here, and I feel really honored and blessed to have this role. And the reason I chose becoming a house director over another year of teaching is because of exactly that. We get to be with students and we get to make them feel loved and valued and seen and that ultimately they can know 
that the love of Jesus is so much stronger than the love that they're going to get from myself or a teacher or their peers or their parents, but we can point them to that real relationship with Jesus and have those gospel conversations and ultimately spend time praying over their needs. I think most of the kids that come in here, we've been able to sit down and just say, hey, can I pray for you? It has just been so cool to spend time praying and crying and sharing and um, yeah, growing together. I love that at Langley Christian, as a house director, we get to see the hearts of the administration and that they really value mentorship and discipleship. This school is so unique for that and they have shown that this matters and by allowing us to have our own office spaces where we can walk closely with students. They also have programs here where we are being mentored as new staff and we get to connect with people who have been here for 10 plus years and have different levels of experience and hearts for the job. I love that Langley Christian values Christ-centered education. It's part of everything we do here. It's part of the coaching. It's part of the curriculum. It's part of every single conversation that we have in our offices. And it really matters to our admin and head of schools and the staffing here so much that they're, they're paying me to have conversations about Jesus with students every single day. And I really think that um, this is a really special place where we are able to be innovative and creative in how we engage students in their relationships with Jesus. I think overall, people really crave connection. I've always craved it. And I know that the staff here crave it. I know students crave it. And the more that we're able to meet the needs of all the students by sitting down with them, looking them in the eyes, asking them questions about their relationship with Jesus, uh, their mental health, their physical health, we are able to connect. And I really do think that's what God has called me to do here at Langley Christian is to connect deeply with students and staff and continue to build relationships um, as I've been so blessed by the relationships that I've built here. And a good example of that is one of the things I really love about Langley Christian is the staff. I feel so encouraged by the staff. I feel every time I come to school and people are always smiling and excited to see you and work with you and um, some of my old teachers are teaching with me, which you might think is weird because I would have thought that's weird, but I love that connection that I'm able to grow and learn from my old teachers and connect with them. And just the other day at Pro D, we spent um, time sharing about things we're grateful for in our staff culture. And every single person went around and said something that they valued about each other. And just another reason that I love the staff here and I love the admin team here. They're so encouraging. They value gratefulness. They value service. They value just your relationship with Jesus. And I love the staff. I love worshiping with them. I love sharing and collaborating with them. I love hanging out with them outside of work. I love coaching with them. I love the fact that at Langley Christian we're celebrated to do things that we love. We're encouraged to dream and um, be innovative and try new things. And even if we fail and they don't work, that we're still encouraged to um, give back and continue to grow and learn 